Hey guys, the effect dudes here. Gonna show you guys how to do this wand thing, the Lumos Harry Potter spell effect in After Effects using only After Effects, no external anything. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take your footage, import it. Put it under the new composition button right there. And we are going to. I'm not going to go to effect. Alright, so we're just going to type in lens. The lens flare will come up. It's under generate. Just select it, drag it onto your footage. It'll pop up as this red ball thing. So we'll keyframe the opacity of it later. But so right where you want to start it. Set the lens type right here to a 105 millimeter prime. It'll be this bluish flare now which will be better for Harry Potter. Let's turn the flare brightness down a bit so we can see let's go to this right here. Let's see what we're doing here. Okay. Let's keyframe hit the stopwatch on the flare center. And then We'll just sit here and simply drag the point onto the tip of the wand. Some shuffling through the frames here. I'm only going to do a little bit. It's not going to be good at all because I'm doing it fast for the sake of the tutorial. And then we're also going to cast a big glow on the door right there. Alright, that's all I'm going to do. Okay, let's turn the brightness back up. Oh, that's a lot. Let's turn it back to 100. Actually, dim it a bit. Alright, so let's see here. It follows the tip of the wand right there. Let's cut this video. Okay, so now right here we have our basic motion of the flare following it, but as you see there's it would cast this point of light would cast a huge like brightness on the back wall there. So how we're gonna do that is let's duplicate the layer. Go up to the top one. So now we have two of your footages. How do you duplicate is on map command D. I don't know the windows. So what we're going to do, go to the top one, go to your effects, just delete the lens flare so that we have a blank right here, and set the blending mode to add. So now it's this huge bright, but we aren't going to leave it at that. So what we're going to do, let's take the ellipse tool. Drag a big. Oops. Big circle here. Shrink that down a bit. I do not know how to shrink it. Um. Let's 
Let's, that's not good. Okay, let me just redo the mask here. Totally messed up. Okay, actually I'm just going to take the pen tool. And so, as I make my mask down here, here we go. And we're just going to go in there and feather it a bunch so it doesn't really matter. Wherever you think a point of light, this point of light may hit, like my face here. Shirt. Mm. Let's go out here in the wall. That's a little too far. Let's go right here. Let's do it up here. Okay. So, here, yeah, let's put one on my hand. Thing holding the wand. Go up the wand a bit. Definitely get some light. Okay, so now let's go back to your editing mode. Alright, so now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna click on the masks, hit F for all the feathering. I'm going to select them all by dragging this little box. So now that they're all selected, I'm going to drag up the feather. Let's actually make these masks. Let's make this one. Make it light up the whole entire. Wall right here. Okay. So there we have it right there. Let's make it a bit bigger on my face. I don't want that. Alright, that's good right there. And let's bring up the feather a bit more. On this edge. Actually a bit. Don't want it too boxy. I'll go on my hand. Alright, so that's pretty good right there. And all of our masks. So now you see as the light is there. Not there, not there. I mean, I guess I could go in there and light up this side too, but so right now, here, let's add a bit of a go-to effect. We're going to add a blue tint to the color, so let's experiment with this color, color correction up in the effect bar, color correction, tint. Alright, we want to change the map black. Now let's change it to this little dropper. Hello. No, thank you. Alright, let's manually select it. Okay. Let's do a deep blue. Yeah, let's do dark blue right there. Change the tinting of it a bit. 
just to give you a feel. Let's do that. Clear brightness a bit. definitely want the 105 millimeter. Alright, so that is basically it for this tutorial. You could make it better, but this is a simple and easy way to do it. Now I'm going to duplicate this a bit. change the opacity of it down okay so now we have a nice clean glow and to keyframe the glow just click the opacity and start at zero go a few frames 100 to where it slowly fades in you can do that the same with the delete those keyframes. You can do that the same with the lens flare. Just go over to flare brightness and keyframe that. Yeah, let's hit zero. Come over here. Turn it back to let's put sixty. Alright, so now we have this slow glowing growing orb there that kinda follows one there and it looks pretty good So that is how you do the Harry Potter Lumos spell in After Effects. This is the Effect Dude signing out.